The key in AutoCAD to creating great photorealistic renderings is using the material library. Now the material library is very vast, so most of what you're going to ever need is going to be found there. Over the years, Autodesk has expanded the AutoCAD material library, and in fact, in the 2011 versions, every rendering enabled product has the exact same materials library. So that's really cool. That means that if you create a model in AutoCAD and apply materials to it from the AutoCAD library, your model and its materials can easily be transferred into another Autodesk product like Inventor, Revit, or even 3ds Max. They all use the same rendering library. So that's great. They can even all work into AutoCAD as well. So let's open up a file. Let's take a look at our model beam clamp angle .dwg file. Now this file is a 3D model and it has a steel beam, some steel plates, bolts, and a wooden beam here at the top. Now each of these items is set to a specific layer and each of those layers are set to a specific material type. So right now we're in a conceptual mode, but if we switch to realistic mode, you'll be able to see some of these materials rendered on them. So you can see that kind of looks like wood, the bolts have a metal look to them, the same with the plating and with this beam. Now, if you select an object, you can tell what type of material is added to it through the properties palette. You go to material and you see it's set to by layer. This setting works just like your color, your layer, your line type would. It's just another setting that can be controlled by layers. So you can set it to by layer, by block. You can set it to birch galvanized, galvanized one, which is just a copy of galvanized, but it's slightly different, a global setting or a little bit weathered. How do you get these materials into your drawing? Because you can't assign them to your layers until they're in your drawings. And if you open up your layer manager, you'll see that there's no place here to set up the materials. So how do you do that? If you go to your visualize tab on the ribbon and you'll come here to the materials panel, Click on this top button here, that's the materials browser. This is the materials library. It works just like a regular palette and it's pretty extensive. So what we have here is our Autodesk library and we have different categories. Some of the categories have subcategories and that's fine. So you can see we have ceramic, concrete, a default setting, fabric, finishing, flooring, glass, liquid, masonry, all the way down to siding, stucco, and wood. If we click on the arrow, that will expand out the wood. And it also has a sub panel called paneling. Now these all look like different panelings. There's an ash door, boards, cardboard, things like that. Some of these materials will also fall under other material subtopics here. That's okay, because that might make it easier for you to find. So if you need to put some roofing on, just go to your roofing. Or if you want some metal, you can go to your metal. You can find specific types of aluminum, fabricated, or steel. How do you get these items into your drawing? Well, it's actually quite simple. You find what you want, you select it, right click, say add to document materials. You can also add it to a favorites because you can set up a favorites folder in here, or you can load it to an active tool palette. So if you say document materials, it's right in our drawing now. I can right click on it, add to it, document materials. If I want plating, another quick and easy way to add it is to just left click and hold, drag it, and drop it right into your drawing. Let me hide this, move this to the side. So not only can you drag and drop it right into your drawing, but you could drag it and drop it right onto your object. So let's say I want this knurled. I can left click, drag, and drop it, and it gets applied to that object. Now the downfall to this is that I can no longer control that by layer, but I can go ahead and make the change anyway, set it back to by layer, and there we go. We saw in our layer manager, there was no place to control the materials with. That's okay, you can come right up here. I can come to the materials panel on the visualize tab, and I can go to the attach by layer button. This brings up something that looks a lot like the layer manager. Columns on my left, include all of the materials that are in my file. What's on my right is a list of the different layers and the material attached to it. Now these big giant red X's mean that I can click here and that will remove that material from the layer. So if I don't like this galvanized metal rendering, I can click the X, it'll go away, and I can left click drag and just drop it onto that new 
layer right there. I click OK, and this will be updated. Once I have everything set, I can do a rendering of my 3D model. Just watch the progress bar, and you can kind of get a look of what it will be like once it gets into a full 3D rendered drawing. So it's pretty simple. I suggest you control your materials by layer, of course. If it doesn't give you enough of a variety, you need to make more layers, or you can just drag and drop your materials directly to the objects. And remember, even if you do that, you can always turn it back to by layer through your properties palette. Once you've applied these materials to your objects, you can create a realistic photo rendering of them so you can share your design with the world.